For all its complexity, the orb web was one of the first kind of silken traps devised by spiders. Subsequently, other species modified it in some quite extraordinary ways. There's a web in this yew tree that's triangular, a slice, as it were, from an orb. It's made by Hyptiotes, and her body forms an essential link in its mooring cable. To be effective, the web has to be very taut. Hyptiotes ratchets up the tension by hauling in the main cable and coiling it above her body. Tighter. Tighter. And that's about as tight as it'll go. Now she has to wait. Flies can sometimes disentangle themselves from a web if the spider doesn't grab them quickly. But a fly hitting this web won't get that chance. A strike triggers an instant reaction. In slow motion, you can see what happens. Hyptiotes immediately lets go of the coil she was holding over her back. That causes her web to collapse and almost instantaneously entangle the prey. Few flies that hit a Hyptiotes web manage to escape. The gladiator spider makes her web from a very special kind of multi-strand silk which she backcombs to make fuzzy. She carefully attaches this to a framework of ordinary unfuzzy filaments. The fuzzy silk doesn't have glue on it, but it will entangle hairy legs. And it's also extremely elastic, which is crucially important. It's finished. She reaches down with her forelegs to check how far away she is from the ground. Then she snips most of the framework threads and holds the fuzzy rectangle between her four front legs. She's ready. Her enormous eyes are so sensitive she can hunt in near darkness. A bush cricket would make a rich meal, but it's very powerful and it could put up a good fight. Now it must be parceled up and the fuzzy silk makes excellent wrapping just as it does for Hyptiotes. <laughs>